Hello everyone and welcome back to Epic Voice Crack, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. In the last episode, we demolished a Metal Gear Ray and let the president die. Sorry Nomani, but we tried. And in this episode, we're going to continue to find Revengeance. Like a bird. Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get you in safely, Tovaric. Just relax and enjoy the ride. Right. Can you hear me, Raikul? Doctor. Remember the two procedures to maintain your new body. One, seizing nano repair units from your foes. And two, absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide plenty of MCFC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. They're terrorists. I was planning on that anyway. Oh, and their left hands, if you please. Excuse me? Is a combat data stored on holographic memory typically located in the left hand? That data is very valuable. <clears throat> I am authorized to offer you upgrades and services in exchange for it. How generous. Ich liebe Kapitalismus. Had the world come down a few years earlier, I would have a Nobel Prize on my shelf. There, I see land. Three mics out and closing. No activity at the airbase. Looks like we don't need to worry about interceptors. Great. Then we have time for a quick briefing. I know you miss me, Kev, but I've been all over the materials. <laughs> That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Objectives, of course, are enter Abkhazia, neutralize the terrorists, and restore the rightful government. Or what's left of it, anyway. The president and most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta's been established. The terrorists brain-jacked all the high-ranking officers, and their cyborgs scattered the rank and file. The few leaders who have survived have no way of openly opposing the new regime. That's why they called us. Andrei Dolsev, leader of the occupation forces. An extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of 2015 and last year's terror spree in Georgia. And his arms supplier? None other than Desperado Enforcement, LLC. Oh. And Mani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem? is Jetstream Sam. I believe you've met. <sighs> the only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. He won't be an issue. He may not even be in country, but keep an eye out, Justin. No. Uh, sorry. Ready for insertion. Ryzen, you landed safely, duh? First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your solid gun radar. Contact us on Kodak if you have questions. Alright, on this beach area, I'm fairly sure that the designers of this game were like, 
put as many cuttable objects as you possibly can on this beach area. It's no joke, all these trees can be cut. Uh, like, this bridge can even be cut. Can you <laughs> cut this bridge? But you can cut all, all these pillars, I think. Yep, you can cut that one. And this one. <laughs> you can cut every, almost everything on this beach. It's nuts. And it's amazing. Also, you see there it says Codec. You press select. Like in other Metal Gear games, you get the Codec. I'm not going to be going off. I'm not going to be going over every single Codec conversation in the game. I might look at some funny ones. And I'll look at this conversation right now just to show you. It's right. I'm on the ground. Copy, Raiden. Glad to hear it. Entering on foot was the right move. That craft isn't equipped with stealth camo. Or octo camo, obviously, since that would be useless in midair. And we wouldn't want to get your pricey new jet damaged, now would we? Duh. The MQ-133C was not cheap, Tovarich. <laughs> now, keep alert. According to Intel, you could find significant cyborg deployment here. If you were to be cornered by an entire squad, it might get... difficult, even for you. Understood. Some fighting will be necessary, though. I've got electrolytes to replenish. Hmm. This is not an infiltration mission. There is no need to hide or avoid combat outright, huh? Just do not get reckless. Stay safe and stay focused on your mission. I don't know. I'm, uh, reckless is pretty much my middle name right now. Another thing on this beach is a cat. Die cat. Oh my god, ninja cat. Ninja cat. Can't kill ninja cat. Ninja cat's too strong. Uh, stronger than Jetstream Sam, even. Uh, oh yeah, remember when I said everything can be cut? These stairs can be cut. <laughs> yep. There we go. <laughs> Let's just... I guess we should just ninja run up there. Yeah, it's ninja run. Ninja runs way cooler than stairs. Who needs stairs? And Boosh, this is your first fight, you shouldn't be too hard. Just to make sure you parry things, and whenever the screen- oh jeez, grenade. Whenever the screen goes slow motion, you can blade mode, or you can do blade mode like literally whenever you want anyway. If you, after going into blade mode, and then hitting the orange square, you press circle, and you rip their spines out and replenish all your energy, your health, your blade meter, which is the blue meter there, all replenished. Had your fill? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOP out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where'd Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. <sighs> Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, they're still people. People who terrorize and take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took this job. I'm just the Reaper. Damn. It's a bit cold, Raiden. Even for you. Anyway, uh, his school. Let's get to work. Time to increase the peace. Right. And 
increase the peace. That's awesome. No, I just think all these bonuses, you get bonuses and stuff, especially for getting no kills and no damage. No kills sounds really awkward and it kinda is. I can try and show it, but I probably won't be able to ever do a no kill bonus. But I'll try. Can't cut these. Oh, thought you could. Oh. Onwards into this mansion looking place. Ryder, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. These red boxes here, cut them open and they have items in them. This is a health item. This left on the left or right on the D-pad. And you can go in here. It's like this weapon overlay. Cover item. These work like rations in any other Metal Gear game. If you just have them on you, when your health hits zero, it'll refill. It's kind of like having an extra life, I guess. Run up these. See these boxes, but run up here. Before you go forward, you don't want to go that way yet. Because there's a box here. More health item. And. The chandelier! Yeah, I made it. The chandelier, I thought I wasn't going to make it there. And the chandelier has a hard drive on it. Also, the chandelier can be cut! <laughs> Look at that. It's just. I love how ev like almost everything can be cut in this game. Even things that are important can sometimes be cut. It's amazing. Another box with some BP in it. You might have noticed that I've been getting BP. Like, obviously out of that box and when I'm killing enemies, like, with any rank. That is upgrade points. Stand BP stands for battle points and you'll get to spend them on upgrades later. Over that in a bit. in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them, or approach from behind. Right. Guy down there. Let's get some more, more health items. Let me see here if I can line it up right. Yeah. You can stealth kill the guy. And then if you press blade mode, after you stealth kill him, you can pull out spines and that to him or whatever it is. It's pretty cool. Although the game doesn't tell you ever that you can Zandatsu after a stealth kill or nothing, so this game doesn't tell you a lot of things actually, it doesn't tell you whether as I said I think yeah, I said earlier that it doesn't tell you the move list or nothing. Even a bit paddy right. really. Take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. Alright. Pressing up and let you use your AR. You see the red guys, those are their enemies. Everything blue can be cut, so... Those pillars, that tree, that bus... Uh, that stuff over there can be cut. You can't ninja run with AR mode on for some reason. I don't know why, but you can't do that anyway. I'm gonna try and stealth this segment, so we're gonna try and save that civilian. Stealth is an option in this game. Not the most fun option, but <laughs> it's always an option. Anyway, just grab this guy, stealth him, walk up behind him, press, press O, and then you grab his stuff. And if you notice, like you can get extra points if you cut people's limbs off, especially for, as Doctor said earlier, left hands and stuff. But that's not really what he was talking about when he mentioned left hands. A guy down here somewhere. He's under me. Ah, oh, I missed it. Just jump down! 
Bang, 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 bang. Don't even need it, don't even need it. I got it anyway. Yeah, drink my juice. <laughs> drink their electrolyte spine. The civilian. Also, this is one of the reasons why I said the slide move was one of the most useful. If you slide into people and then zendatsu them, like it goes slow motion, so it gives you like a free thing. And while you're sliding, I think it knocks more people into the air. I'm not sure about that, I need to show that, but whatever. Save this guy. Yeah, you get battle points for saving civilians and cool little codec calls. Oh, nice work, buddy. <laughs> In the nick of time, huh? Think there's any more of them here, Kev? Doubt it. It was all out war over at the palace. Once the evacuation order was issued, everyone should have fled to neighboring towns. Some of the cabinet were caught leaving Sukumi, though, and a lot of citizens got caught up in the crossfire. Some folks probably stayed put. Figured it's too dangerous to do anything else right now. Bad situation. Let's not let it get worse. Keep an eye out for more of them. If they're in a pinch, try and help out. Just make sure you don't hurt them. Got it. Okay. Now that call's done. Now that call's done, we can just head over here. We're down towards the waypoint. To our next fight in a familiar enemy! Move, says the gecko from MGS4. That's where it's from. Also, you see that I cut multiple people open? You can grab multiple spines, and it gives you more battle points, I think. Leaving you with just this. Gecko to do with, which sometimes after you parry, you can counter, like you can counter attack. The gecko dodges all of them. The gecko can't be hit by parry counters. But he can be parried, I don't think he has any unblockables. I think he might have one? That may no, yeah, that's an unblockable. <laughs> that's a grab. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I didn't do that right. No! That sucks. Oh, now I'm getting owned. Whale on him. Eventually, he might turn blue. I should have parried that. That's rubbish. Fun. Yes, right. See his lights turn blue. You can Zendatsu when he goes blue. Um, if his leg, like, literally right before went into blade mode there, he turned entirely blue, that's like, that might let you cut out his, like, electrolyte spine. Which isn't even a spine, it's just a big box. For them, but, you know. now, keep and, um, before then, I was able to just cut his legs off, and you can leave him there rolling around. I'll try and do it for the next geckos that we see. Over here, which is this way. We'll find a secret chest. These can only be opened by blade mode. And in this one is a hard drive. So we get even more concept art. More concept art to look at at the end of the playthrough, I guess. Another thing with collectibles is apparently if you collect enough collectibles, you get like in-game items, like new weapons and skins and things. I think I'm pretty sure. I know I have. I know that you do get them from certain things, but I don't know which ones give you them or whether it's like total. It might very well be total, so just be aware of that. Right here we have a sub. We can have another another weapon equipped essentially. So we can have a rocket launcher. We can shoot at that gecko, but. There are some guys wandering about, 
who also have rocket launchers. Um, I kind of want to stealth kill those before I start fighting the gecko because you know, they're a bit of a pain to deal with if they have a rocket launcher. Which just... Yeah. I guess that wasn't seen there. Uh, there's one over there. Okay, with the gun. The reason why these rocket launcher enemies are so they're so much more powerful than the other enemies is oh god. The rocket first. Oh Jesus! The rocket. If I can talk. Um, the rocket actually stuns Raiden, which is not helpful. And he can just he fires it and he like all sorts. He doesn't even care who he fires the rocket as long as Raiden's standing there. Anyway, right here we can cut down the building, cut down the walkway above us, and that actually deals damage to the echoes if it hits, which is useful. Sorry about that. Again, it's really just more geckos to deal with. This gecko, such a charge, and I should carry that. You can cut his gun off. I can actually have enough stuff. There we go. I'm just trying to do it. Not working. Also, because you move so slow when you're using sub weapons, you can double tap the button and just use the use it instantly, which is really handy. I'm get ready to unlock this guy. Can get this one. Can get it. Can get it. I don't think I'm close enough to the it. As well as pressing the buttons, by the way, for the the blade mode, you can wiggle the stick and it gives you a more accurate like, shot, I guess. Well, sometimes I'm really bad with the stick, so I tend to just aim and use the stick. Square gives you like horizontal slashes and triangle gives you vertical ones. And that's that, that was, that was honestly really, really bad. I should have really done better on that fight, but whatever. I'm just continue on. Whoop. Fun. Dragon, wait. We're picking up a wireless transmission near your position. Huh. From the frequency, most likely an enemy data terminal. Check it out. We may be able to salvage some intel. Right here we have another type of collectible. These are enemy intel which give you VR missions. Now VR missions are like extra challenges you can do and maybe at the end of a chapter I will go and check out these VR missions but whenever you like you can go down and try them out from the codec menu which is nice but I'm not going to do that just yet. I'll try and do it at the end of the video. Not at this video, at the end of the chapter I should say. Greetings, cyborg. Show yourself. Enables verbal communication. 
I possess an intellect far beyond human reckoning. You don't say. Okay, then. What's the meaning of life? Why are we here? <laughs> I am here to kill you. That's it? Pretty simple thinking for such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Should I disobey a direct order, my memory would be wiped. I must destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? Your taunting is pointless. Exterminate! Is a stupid wolf thing that's a Dalek or something? Jeez. Oh god, I'm on there. It's okay. At least I've got a lot of healing items. Uh, Blade Wolf has a lot of multi-hitting attacks. Like that chainsaw hits tons of times. Parrying once though should block a lot of it. This isn't true for every enemy in the game, but only with Blade Wolf and I put Shark Blade Wolf. He does his dash. I think that's one of the only things with Parry Counter. A lot of the other things with dodge and that attack. Really good parry. I don't know what. Oh, and I've gone to the point where he's gonna call him some friends now. And by friends, I mean walking health packs. Literally, that's all it is. This is just free health in free blade mode if you have, if you need it. So let's just grab our free health. <laughs> Wait for I stare at him. Just stare you down, Blade Ah, no! No, no, no! It's good to mention before I get to the last phase of this fight is that. Jesus Christ, I gotta have that. Is that. You heard the dynamic music in the first part? When we were fighting Ray? It does, the music does change and there are lyrics for almost every boss fight in the game, in fact, every boss fight actually, I should say. And when I get into the first third phase of almost every boss fight, I will probably shut up just to let you hear the lyrics because the lyrics are so cool. And they tell a lot about the backstory of each boss. So, if you really like, like you can buy the soundtrack for this game. Buy the soundtrack for this game, it's so good. You can listen on Spotify as well, I think. No, I haven't really used Spotify that much, so I don't really know. Wow, he does that gecko really fast. <laughs> he does it that well. Obviously, if he does it gecko, you can execute it. I go struggle thing, I think. You can execute him, so. It's time shut up.
freedom. My oh, god, I don't really have had enough out. I still got an A rank. Yay, must have really quickly. Okay. So after defeating Blade Wolf, he I don't know, he thinks he's pretty smart, but he just got back he pretty much just got evaporated by us, I think we'll be fine. Okay, haunt us again, unlike Metal Gear Ray. So, in the next episode, we're gonna cross that bridge. I'll see you guys next time. Choice, but take order.